It's a particular honor for me to present Kevin Connolly, former chairman and then CEO of Spencer Stewart, with this Lifetime Achievement Award, as he has always been so gracious to me from the time I joined AESC just over six years ago. He has always made himself available and has helped me as I navigated the association, the impact we should make, and the value of our profession. Kevin has had and continues to have a lasting impact on clients, candidates, Spencer Stewart, and the profession at large. Kevin, you received 89 recommendations for this award. That is no doubt a record high. It clearly demonstrates that you are deserving of this award. Ben Williams, the current CEO of Spencer Stewart, is one of the many recommendations you received. He highlighted how you have focused Spencer Stewart on delivering differentially better outcomes measured in terms of the leadership performance, cultural fit, and durability of the executives selected. Under your leadership, the firm expanded its global footprint, search and leadership advisory business, workforce, and revenue. In Kevin's role as CEO and chairman at Spencer Stewart, he not only committed the resources of the firm to help AESC shape its agenda, but he also encouraged key leaders within the firm to be actively involved, sit on committees, and lend Spencer Stewart's voice to issues critical to our profession. Spence Stewart himself was one of the founders of AESC, and that commitment to our profession has continued throughout the years, most recently through Kevin Connolly's leadership. Kevin, you truly exemplify best-in-class leadership in our profession, and I am very proud to present you with this Lifetime Achievement Award. Hello, fellow AESC members. It is with tremendous gratitude and deep humility that I accept the recognition of our profession bestowed upon me through this award. To be recognized alongside those who established our profession and whose achievements are legendary truly is the honor of my lifetime. And by saying that, by no means do I wish to imply that my contributions to our profession would compare favorably to theirs. I have had the privilege to know very well the others from my firm who have previously earned this recognition. Our founder, Spencer Stewart, Tom Neff, Dayton Ogden, Bill Clemens Jr., and Edward Speed. Each of them richly deserved this award, which gives me some hope that I do as well. Our founder, Spencer Stewart, began his career as a management consultant for Booz Allen and Company. Spence established our firm on a foundation of search through research and insisted on a rigorous consulting-based approach to our work. His early guidance was reinforced by Tom Neff, a former McKinsey consultant, who stressed the importance of having lasting client outcomes rested, resting on a foundation of relentless referencing. I vividly recall a summertime barbecue at Dayton Ogden's house about 20 years ago when he mapped the future of our firm to encompass a leadership advisory arm of scale equal to our search business. My dear friend Bill Clemens Jr. was also McKinsey trained and Bill understood that there were specific capabilities and necessary experiences required to do this work well and he devoted himself to developing those capabilities in others. I worked alongside Edward Speed as Spencer Stewart invested in leadership consulting, which remains today the fastest growing part of Spencer Stewart's business. So as you can see, anything that has been accomplished on my watch really was a continuation of the thinking and plans of those who came before me. Years ago, when I was first elected chairman of Spencer Stewart, I addressed my first meeting of the partners, and I famously neglected to acknowledge the most important member of my team, my wife, Lisa. Justifiably, nobody who was at that meeting, in particular Lisa herself, has ever let me live it down. I must tell you that it is absolutely true that I married way up, and it has been to my everlasting good fortune. Lisa supported me in all things and was strong enough to tell me when I was not thinking about things the right way. She raised our two wonderful daughters in her image, and I am immensely proud of them too. More recently, Lisa has been busy spoiling our three grandchildren 
in a way that delights them, but still looks out for their good character. She is the love of my life, and I would never have amounted to much without her help. My time in our profession is drawing to a close, and as it does, allow me to offer my thoughts on how I see our future. First, it is vibrant and bright. What we do and how we do it can be, and in fact, must be improved with technology, but I cannot imagine it being replaced by technology. Great executive search and leadership advice remain professions founded on persuasion, relationships, and above all, trust. Looking out for people, both clients and candidates, is at the heart of what we do. Thank you for this award. It is the honor of my lifetime.